how's it going savage life family today i'm going to be teaching you how to withdraw crypto out of robin hood it has finally happened i have finally been accepted and i was currently number 3000 on the wait list in order to withdraw and add crypto onto robin hood and now the wait list is done so i'm gonna go ahead and teach you how it's done beforehand be sure to smash that like subscribe for more tutorials and help regarding the cryptocurrency industry let's go ahead and hop right into it so as you can see ladies and gentlemen currently this is all i have on robin hood i haven't been a robin hood supporter ever since the whole nonsense with gamestop and amc where i lost a couple of hundreds if not thousands of dollars when they took away the buy button from gamestop causing everybody to just panic sell of course, if you're unable to buy and you're only able to sell, it's going to plummet the price of these stocks, seeing as to why GameStop dropped from three to $400 near those $80 price point levels that we we're saying. Absolutely insane. So ladies and gentlemen, first things first, what I'm going to be doing is withdrawing my Ethereum Classic. I'm going to withdraw it to my NFT MetaMask wallet. So what you're gonna wanna do is click these three dots here next to buy and sell. The same thing should happen on the mobile as well. So be sure to follow it, but we're just going through this tutorial on Chrome. So send and receive wallet transfers. You simply just want to copy your MetaMask, your trust wallet, however it may be, and paste it into this section here. And then it's going to ask you the amount that you want to send. We're pretty much going to transfer everything out of Robinhood. So I'll probably leave 0.1. Point eight. I'm not going to be looking at Robin Hood for a while, so we'll see where we end up going with it. Probably I might end up playing with this account and seeing if we can do some trades, but I'm not really a trader myself. So we're going to go ahead and click review. So it seems I currently have a limit of 96. I can see why they limit you to be able to transfer only a certain amount due to the fact that they're losing quite a bit of money getting all this money off of their exchange. So it's gonna send you a code on the Authenticator app. Now, plenty of you guys may not have verified, but you have to connect this to the Authenticator app on your Google phone. Let me go ahead and wait for this. Dun, 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 275. Of course, no one's gonna be able to hack me due to the fact that the app refreshes every 30 seconds. So it gave me an amount and it has sent. I have 10 ETC remaining in this wallet. I'll go ahead and transfer the remainder in the next couple of days once the limit refreshes. But when will the ETC appear in my wallet? As you can see, it's going to take a couple of minutes. So I'll come back and let you know the results. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're back at it. It took about five minutes for it to transfer, but as you can see, there it is in my MetaMask wallet. I'm actually shocked that it took and it did it so quickly because usually exchanges take around 24 to 48 hours. So that's definitely a plus on Robin Hood there. And as you can see, I have 97 because I had around one point something sitting in this NFT account. So ladies and gentlemen, keep in mind that this does take transactional fees. Happy to know that Ethereum Classic transactional fees are less than a penny, but if you're transferring like Bitcoin or Ethereum in a sense, you're going to be spending 20, 30, 40, 50, 60 dollars in transactional fees. So it's something to think about if you are planning to moving your Ethereum or your Bitcoin out of your Robinhood wallet. If you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to smash that like as it massively helps with the YouTube algorithm and subscribe. I'll be sure to catch you guys on the next one. See ya.